He is a true national treasure. As an actor, he has appeared in more than 150 television shows and movies. He has been a regular on the Perry Mason series and on Matlock. But as great of an actor as this gentleman is, he is a greater patriot and American. He not only acts it, he lived it. Awarded the Silver Star and the Purple Heart, it is my honor to introduce to you tonight from Hollywood, Mr. James McEachin as the Old Soldier. Thank you, and please be seated. You've just thrown my rhythm off. <laughs> Considering the way I'm walking, that is not very hard to do. I would like to take you back to the late 1800s when Mr. Mansell said, I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and sky. And all I ask it's a nice star and a ship to sail by. My God, what do you think he would say if he could see the USS Green Bay? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> this is a great ship but it bears the name of a great city, and thus a great people. But a great, great people comes from the people that defends a great city. And that is so many of the people here who served America, this great nation. And on days of remembrances past, I have borne in mind that last full measure of devotion of which Abraham Lincoln so eloquently spoke at Gettysburg. From shadowed lanes and far away roads I have looked off and I have seen the symmetrical obedience of numberless headstones that stand like dwarfed sentries for the honored dead. Oh, I say to you, Mr. and Mrs. America, I say to your sons and daughters and all who are privileged to be within these borders, one cannot help but be touched by the price of our liberties, humbled by graves that stretch from coast to coast. On this day of tribute and remembrance, lo, a day backed by the trembling winds of yet another war. Strident, I say, strident. Voices of doubt and dissent have pushed me to a place beyond the sight of graves. And I find myself now moving along stark sobering corridors dedicated to the living who have sacrificed much for democracy's cause, I find myself in a hospice for the American veteran. Hey, hear me now. Swept amid remnants of wars old and new, the sorrowing consequences of battle all too evident, I pray, oh, oh how I pray, there never again be this need for war. But if in the final hour, war we must, let it be for the principles for which our forefathers stood, for the freedom for which this, this God-anointed nation has been ordained to stand. 
and then when in observance of the toe of war, or whether in ceremony of the great gifts of freedom, it is to those strident voices of doubt and dissent to whom I shall first look, and I will pray to my God that we unite as one and that over and 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 over again we give thanks to the American veteran, hello, defenders of freedom and holding dear the memory of the dead and the unaccounted for, I shall further pray that none among us forget those whom I see here in this place and then walks and then hospices the country over those who once stood tall for democracy, for the precious right to speak freely, but are now moving in firmly, oh, and without grace, down the long, long corridors of duty, of honor, of gallantry, going their separate ways, silent, I say silent, of deeds and sacrifice, yet ever and ever in a special kind of way, still given near all to say to us all, no veterans, no democracy, no democracy, you got no America. I thank you, folks. <laughs> Mr. McEachin. James McEachin. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.